Okay, the next update feature is Shadow Disk. Now this is a chart that shows you how the Shadow Disk is connected. So the Shadow Disk actually is connected to your PC, while the Source Disk connects to your DC and DC connect to your PC as well. So um, the Shadow Disk works to protect this, uh, the data in Source Disk. So if your Source Disk it has uh, severe bad sectors, so if you're uh, you're going to protect the data when you connect to your DC and uh, you want you want to you may want to turn on the shutter disk. So when the shutter disk is turned on, if you your DC has the rated data out of your source disk successfully, so at the same time you make a copy to the shutter disk. So next time when the we are DC going to read the same data, you're going to read the data directly from shutter disk, not from source disk anymore. So this is this, this is really a way to protect the source, the data on a source disk. And also, that this image is uh, is also a very big part of the DC. And this is this shows you uh, the window of the interface when we're doing the disk image. And uh, here's the window when you connect uh, when we click new task. Will requires you to input. Initial LBA and lens, and uh, also for you to choose a target to disk or to to file. And and we added a new feature that is uh, for you to see the sectors at the same time when you're doing image. So now we have demonstration. So now we're doing image, so at the same time you can see sectors. So this is quite convenient when you do image. You can you can check out uh, what's wrong with your disk and uh, and which part if it has sectors, so you can see the content of sectors sectors. And also the, the function is access to HD information. And uh, when your HD is connected to this to DC and you need to read from HD. If you can see all the information, then it's a firmware LBA. So basically it means your firmware is, is, has no problem. So your disk is, uh, is good. So you doing, So now you can connect to your DC to your DC. You don't have to put, up, to put back to your uh, doctors anymore. So now also we have a demonstration. Now you can see we can see everything here. Means everything is fine on the firmware level. is is good. Okay, the next feature is AC boot. So AC emulation is a new added function for the DC two thousand eleven, and this is used for uh, if you if you AC the service area has bad sectors so. The DC cannot directly uh, access your SA or visit your SA to use the use the firmware resources to carry on. So now we have the AC emulation is uh, is emulation of AC working environment. If you, if the DC cannot directly visit the SA, so now we support WD and uh, Hitash. and selective image. And this is used for if you have a disk of many heads, so probably one or two of heads are faulty or, or, or damaged, so you just want to, so you cannot use all the heads to do image. So you want to uncheck one of the heads and use the rest of the heads to do image. So this is function for you. And now also we support these brands of uh, HCDs for you to choose. You can see different brands. Okay. Okay, thank you and uh, we finished uh, the introduction.